Does good source code really matter? Or rather, how important is good code? The answer, of course, is it all depends. It's a spectrum. Just like how you might need the right tool for the job. Really, it all depends on your use case. Sometimes you don't have the right tools. You gotta make do with what you got. Light bulb's dead. Let's test it out. If it's ugly and it works, doesn't matter. So Terry Kavanoff releases the source code to his game VVV VVV. VVV VVV. Oof, I better stop. And the internet has a field day with it. People are going through the source code and looking for the ugliest bits of pieces that they can find. It's just a mess. And Twitter is just a buzz with how bad the source code is. Terry fired back, but the source code is all there. So what does it mean? He was getting lambasted about the quality of the code that was in his game. One developer pointed out that there was a switch case that had over 300 different case statements. Donut. But in the end, did it really matter? In his case, no. The game was released. It got good reviews. It didn't matter in VVVVV, V for short's case, because the player was not buying the source code. They were buying an experience. They were buying the game to play. Had he spent the extra time making the code beautiful, would that have made the game a better experience? The answer is no. So am I saying that good source code doesn't matter? No, not at all. Good source code matters when you are releasing a product that will have a long shelf life that will be supported over a long period of time. So think about software as a service, operating systems, office applications, any software package that requires continual development and that you will require uh, external developers to be on. You could graph the usefulness of good source code in an XY graph. Along the X axis, you have time. And along the Y axis, you have how good your source code needs to be. At the very beginning, if you're supporting your software for a short period of time, the point at which your source code needs to be good does not have to be that high. However, as it stretches on, the curve gradually increases exponentially to the point where good source code really matters. And at which point does good source code hurt you? Good source code hurts you if you're spending a lot of time trying to make your code beautiful and it's getting in the way of having a shippable product. If you start missing deadlines because you're spending just that extra bit of time to lay out the class structure or to make such a beautiful command pattern or whatever, then it's just not worth it. For indie game developers, this is huge. If you're an indie studio and you're spending a ton of time programming features that will probably never be used by the player or is inconsequential to the gameplay or you're making the code beautiful just to, just to satisfy your own ego, you're really going to hurt the development of the game. In fact, it can lead to the, the problem of going back and continuously refactoring your game before the game is actually released. 
So there's a saying, perfect is the enemy of done. And that really applies to software development. If you're spending the time making your code perfect or refactoring because you need the code to be better, that's just going to get in the way of you shipping a product to getting your first sale to completing your game. So it all comes back to my point is if it's ugly and it works, does it really matter? I argue in Terry's case, no, it doesn't matter. Well, let me know what you think. If you have any points or counterpoints, or if you agree, disagree, feel free to comment and see you in the next one.